Such a sit hell was being locked in a room forever with your friends. Why are you telling me this now? No reason, just thought you'd be interested. These four months with me feel like forever. Only when you made me watch those Twilight movies. Or what's the matter? Nothing. I'm not hungry. You have it. Not hungry? You haven't ate since last night. You were the one who complained that we didn't eat out enough. I'm just not hungry, okay? No. No, it's not okay. Don't think I haven't noticed how little you've been eating recently. All you had last night was that little kid at the science fixing invention and there wasn't a pick on him. You just let it lie. I bet you it was that kid. It was all that acne. I told you, it gives you indigestion. It's not indigestion, saviour. You get cranky with me. You're just angry because you haven't that. Please don't. For me. Yeah. Just have... I bet you're on a diet again. I've told you a million times. When you become a vampire, you don't need to worry about getting fat or bad skin, or dandruff, or any of these other things that these mere mortals waste their time obsessing over. You're perfect, Claire, and I love you, okay? Here, have some. He's not half bad. Okay. Okay. Was there anything you want in there? I got the new Def Leppard CD.
Claire, what's wrong? Nothing. See you back at home. Well, she can fly. Can you do that? No. Why not? I don't know. Some of us can fly, some of us can't. Who am I going to complain to? Beautiful girlfriend. Wife. Sorry, man, you've got a beautiful wife. And she can fly. You've got it all? Not quite. Not quite. to Xavier about this stuff. I brought it up in 1992 and he sulked for two weeks. I know it's not his fault and I don't expect him to find a solution to the problem. I just need him to let me have a bit of a moan. You'd think after 106 years of marriage he'd know that. Do you ever think you're better off? How so? Well I had two children before I was turned and I had to watch them grow old, get sick and die. You could have turned them. When? When they're too young to have a family of their own, or when they're all grown up and then they have to watch their children and their grandchildren die, or, or do we turn them as well? Where does it end? You're right. It's still a shitty deal. Did you ever consider siring? Yeah, a few times. I got close to 67. I followed this girl for nearly a year. We sat her down, told her everything about our history, gave her the required consideration period. And then I got cold feet, and we never went back for it. I remember that. It was Anne, right? <laughs> Everyone remembers her. You told her way too much for an induction. I didn't know she was going to write it all down and make a career out of it. The stat still hasn't forgiven me. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> you got time for another one? No. I better get back and apologize to Saviour. See you around. Saviour? You here? I brought some takeaway. Close your eyes. I've got a surprise. Well, what about the... We'll put her on the treadmill and heat her up later. Hey, come on. Close your eyes. What did you do? Oh my God, Saviour, you haven't. Congratulations. It's a boy.
what are we gonna call him? 